up and made alive, raised up on high by the power of love from the Father above. I'm born again, live to rule and reign by the power of the Son of God. I've been made alive, raised up on high by the power of love from the Father above. I'm born again, live to rule and reign by the power of the Son of God. Your blood forgave me and made me whole again. Your blood has washed all my past sins away. Your blood forgave me and made me whole again. Your blood has washed all my past sins away. I've been made right in His sight. Now I'm ready to fight by His might. I'm the light of the world, the salt of the earth. By the power of the Word of God, I've been made right in His sight. Now I'm ready to fight by His might. I'm the light of the world, the salt of the earth. By the power of the Word of God, Your blood forgave me and made me whole again. Your blood has washed all my past sins. Away, your blood forgave me and made me whole again. Your blood has washed all my past sins away. It's all because of Jesus I'm alive. It's all because the blood of Jesus Christ that washes me and raised this dead man's life. It's all because of Jesus. It's all because of Jesus I'm alive. It's all because the blood of Jesus Christ Washes me and raises this dead man's life. And it's all because of Jesus. It's all because of Jesus. It's all because of Jesus. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. Amen. Hallelujah. It's because of Jesus that we are alive and made well. Amen. And we welcome you to another episode of Just Like Him. And we're truly delighted to bring the Word of God to you. And we believe you'll be blessed by it today. Yeah, God's Amen. Word is so powerful and filled with the promises of God and God's love for us. And um, the song that we were just singing was, you know, about who we are in Christ. And we've been discussing in episodes before about how God, He loved us so much that He sent Jesus to die for our sins and to give us a new life. And the song that we just sang um, goes along with those lines of who, or who we are in Christ and what do we do right now, our, our standing position in Christ. And I love the line where it says, I've been made alive, right? We were dead in our sins and we didn't really know who God was or we didn't have really a fellowship with God. So that was a dead relationship, mm. so to speak. But God, through Jesus Christ, made us alive in Him. That's right. And we've been made alive to, you know, to mm. know God and to hear His voice. And that's the reason God has made us alive. Yeah. And we've been talking so much about how much God loves you very much. Yeah. It's not difficult to understand that you know, when you think of love, and especially the God kind of love, that love is unconditional. Mm. It goes beyond any kind of fault that you've made or mistakes that you've made. Yeah. The love of God is just able to wash you clean. Mm. That's, what, that's what's so beautiful about the love of Jesus. 
And, um, and the love yeah. of God is also life transforming. That's right. It changes our life. In the last episode, we saw about a man named Zacchaeus, whom Jesus ministered to. And Zacchaeus was a man who had heard, I guess, things about Jesus, all the miracles that he had done. And he wanted to know, who is this man, Jesus? And so he climbed up on a tree to see Jesus as he was passing by. And Jesus amazingly calls up to Zacchaeus and he says, today I want to come and fellowship with you in your house. And Zacchaeus got so excited because this man, you know, who was healing people, forgiving sins, wants to come into my home and mm. spend time with me. And it's amazing how he was, he was short yeah. and he somehow decided he's going to climb a tree and see yeah. Jesus. Yeah. That's how eager he was. God doesn't look at who we are on the outside, mm. but he loves us based on who he, on the plan that he has for us. And I'm sure that he approached God or Jesus because of the love that was coming out of Jesus. That's, right. That's why we said God's love is unconditional and mm. it draws people to that love. Yeah. And, and if you know that, then you'd be drawn to him because that's his love. That's mm. his very nature. And I believe Zacchaeus was drawn to that love. Yeah. And in, in the last verse of that story, it talks about how the Son of Man, that is Jesus, is come to seek and to save that which was lost. If you are lost today and you're without hope, Maybe you're having thoughts in your mind about suicide or things like that. And maybe you're having a difficult time in your home, in your relationships, maybe at school, maybe you're a child and you're finding it difficult in your school to do studies and homework and maybe uh, all kinds of things. Well, we want to encourage you that Jesus is with his arms stretched out and he wants to say, he, or he's saying, I love you and I give Jesus to pay the price for your sins. And so um, Jesus wants to give you a new life, whoever you are. You can just call out to the Lord and say, Jesus, come into my heart and fill me. And I want to be a new person. Yeah. And he will. And I like that you said that Jesus wants to be involved in every area of your life, yeah. whether it's in whether you're having homework that's difficult or whether it's some relationships uh, kind of a situation or whether it's at school or something, it's so amazing how God wants to be a part of that. And He wants to help you. Mm. I remember sometimes, you know, when, when I'm studying, how I would take sometimes scriptures when it was difficult, mm. like, my help comes from the Lord, or I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Right. And those scriptures really encouraged me. Mm. And I remember one time when I was not sure of how I was going to get my marks and things like that, how I was really encouraged by these words from the book of Joshua 1.5, where it says, um, where God says, I will not fail you nor forsake you. That's right. I mean, the moment that you really need the word of God, God is very present. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we have this thing where God is far away, but truly he's not far away. From the word of God, we see how he says he's a very present help in time of need. Yeah. So God is truly present. He will, he will give you a scripture at the moment you're facing a difficulty mm -hmm. and remind you of who you are. And this is what we like to share with you about, you know, once you get born again and you come into God's family, what do you do next? What mm. are the next steps? You know, how do you live this new kind of life that we have been talking about? And that's what we want to discuss. And even like you were saying, if something is difficult, see, God has the answer in his word. And I love the scripture in Philippians where it talks about, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. In Christ, we have new words that we can speak, new promises. God mm. has made his promises in his word available to us. Mm. And so that's what we're going to talk about, how in you Christ. can, who you are in Christ and the things that you can speak out of your mouth. That's right. And, you know, just going right immediately into it. If you see in Christ, in the Word of God, it, it tells us that um, there are many things you've received in Christ. Mm. For example, in Christ there is joy. Yeah. In Christ there is peace. Mm. In Christ there is forgiveness. Yeah. Maybe you're struggling to, you know, to forgive somebody and unforgiveness has settled on the inside of you and there's bitterness inside of you. Mm. But we're here to tell you that when you see yourself in Christ, and remember yeah. you were a person who was who didn't deserve any forgiveness. Yeah. And Jesus, even in your unworthiness and when you didn't deserve forgiveness, He forgave you. When you see that 
position, when you put yourself in that position, you know, you'll be able to easily forgive mm. whatever difficulty, you know, you're and having in forgiving God somebody. God empowers us. He yeah. gives us the ability to, because we should no longer see ourselves just as we are, because like we saw earlier, we are put in Christ after we receive Jesus as our Lord and Savior. Second Corinthians 5, 17 says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, mm. he's a new creature. A new so creature. we are made new beings. Now God sees us through his son Jesus. That's right. And in Christ, like we took the example of forgiveness, when you see yourself in Christ, you will see yourself, man, I can forgive. If yeah. Jesus forgave me of such a big mess that I had mm. been in, then I should be able to forgive mm. you know, yeah. somebody like that, even though the mess is not as big as what Jesus had to forgive me of. Yeah, he will give and us yeah. the power and the ability good. to release and to forgive. Mm. And sometimes it might be difficult for you in the start. Yeah. That's why you're going to have to say, Lord, because I'm seeing myself in you forgiven, that's the reason I'm going to forgive. Mm. Yeah. And even the song we sang, it says, I've been made alive, raised up on high. Now, what do those words mean? There were so many things in that song that says, I've been made alive. It's, it's very victorious. It reminds you of where you are right now. Yeah. And made alive, raised up on high. Mm. So that, that part of it comes from the scripture in Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 5 and 6. It says, Even when you were dead in sins, has made you alive together with Christ. By grace are you saved. And verse 6 says, And has raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Mm. You notice the words it says many, many times, in Christ, with Christ, right? It says that many, many times. In fact, um, Ephesians is a book that um, mentions a lot about being in Christ. Yeah. So what does that mean, in Christ? Well, that is a very life-changing truth. It means that when you get born again, God takes you out of yourself and he puts you in Jesus. Yeah. And now the way God sees you is in Jesus, right. right? He doesn't see your old life the way you used to live and the person that you were before. He sees you now in Jesus. Mm. So which means if he sees you in Jesus, that means in Jesus you are loved. Mm. In Jesus you are forgiven. And uh, yeah. I noticed in verse 5 also the word dead in sins. Another way we could explain that is how sin just had dominion over us. Sin was Satan himself, and he had dominion and control over us and the, the things that we did. I mean, sometimes you, you want to live a different life and you want to change, but there's this control that Satan has over you. Mm. But Jesus has come to redeem us, to set us free, and to deliver us from the bondage of Satan. That's right. So now we have the power to overcome sin. And we have the power when, when temptation comes. You can say, Lord Jesus, you have filled me with power. I can overcome this temptation. It's not greater than you. And so I can do it. Mm, that's, that's powerful. So that's the meaning of being alive in Christ. God has given us authority yeah. and power. When you are alive with Christ, it means that you are able to hear his voice. Right yeah. Before you had Jesus, before he came into your heart, you couldn't hear him. He was far away from you. Yeah. But when you receive him, immediately on the inside of you, something becomes alive. That's right. That means you want to have this relationship with God because mm -hmm. of what he does inside your heart. Yeah. And that's the work that God does. He does, he does it on the inside that makes you want to really have fellowship with him. Yeah. Right? Sure. And you know what's amazing about it is? We need to realize that we have been promoted, mm. okay? There's a really interesting thing that has happened yeah. when we've received Jesus. We have come to this place of promotion. Mm. Look at verse 6 one more time. It says, He has raised you up together and made you sit in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. So what is interesting is, you know, you're, you literally are seated down here on this earth, wherever you are. But what has happened inside of your heart and spiritually is that you have been taken out of this low position, this low kind of life, and you have been put, you, you're seated right now with Jesus. That's How right. exciting is that? Yeah, to sit exciting. with Jesus, mm. right? He raised you up. Yeah. Even when you were in the lowest position, God raised you up. He brought you up to sit yeah. with Jesus, which means if you're sitting with Jesus, 
you can receive everything that he has for you yeah. right and what you can do is like we said earlier you can put your name in that you know in that verse there and you can say god has raised me up to sit with jesus i don't have to you know think that i need to live the old life like i used to mm. i can live the life that god wants me to live because i'm seated with jesus That's in right. heavenly places right. that is amazing it's amazing and so god has done an amazing work inside our heart sometimes we forget the work that god did but mm. it's so huge right what he's done on the inside when you were dead before you knew christ you were a dead person mm. but god takes that deadness out and he makes you alive which means when you're alive you can communicate with god you can begin to hear his voice and you know he can help you in your real life sometimes you may say so how can god help me in my real life yeah. i'm having real life situations mm. so like we took the example of forgiveness you know if you're having a situation of um, you know you know how to forgive somebody you can remind yourself and say Lord Jesus the way you forgave me when i was very undeserving mm-hmm. you forgave me and you showed me love and mercy yeah so i take that example and i'm going to forgive this person mm. or maybe it's studies that you're finding it difficult when you see yourself in christ and like we've been talking about real life he wants to be in, in your real life he wants to get involved yeah and so, we also yeah. you spoke before about the person of the holy spirit See when Jesus he left the earth he said I'm not going to leave you comfortless mm. and alone he said I'm going to send you the holy spirit who is going to be your comforter and he's going to be with you forever mm. and another thing is Jesus said the holy spirit will remind you of the things that I have said see Jesus he spoke a lot of things to the disciples when you read the gospels mm. and those same things he was speaking to us who we were not there at that time but he says to those who believe yeah. so that means who haven't yet seen in one place he says blessed are those who have not yet seen mm. but believe so he was referring to us as well and so when he was talking about the holy spirit he said the holy spirit is going to be in you empowering you to do that and um the scripture in acts acts 10 38 it talks about the life that Jesus lived see even Jesus was living as a man here on this earth but he was not alone he had the spirit of god on the inside of him he had overcoming ability mm. and power see what this verse says acts 10:38 how god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil for god was with him Mm. See Jesus was able to do the mighty things that he did because of the Holy Spirit living on the inside of him. Mm. He was empowering him to do those things. Yeah. And this is not just talking only about Jesus because Jesus said he has given us the Holy Spirit. Mm. So, you know, we can put our name here again and say, "Lord, you have anointed me with the Holy Spirit mm. and with power, and I can go about doing good." and healing all that are oppressed of the devil. Yeah, and it's But amazing how me. when you said God is is with us and in times of loneliness, like we said earlier, when you see yourself in Christ and yeah. when those thoughts of loneliness come and I'm feeling alone, no one's there with me and I don't have anybody, immediately you can remind yourself and say God, you are with me. Yeah. Because I'm not in myself any longer. In Christ, I can see myself seated with you god so i'm not alone yeah god is with me mm. sometimes you might have to remind yourself a million times god is with me yeah. just to let that sink on the inside of you mm. god is with me i am not alone and there's power in speaking the promises of god's yeah. word you know you can read this stuff and believe it and say okay that's that's nice but see the reality is in speaking it out mm. when you open your mouth and speak these promises out all these good things that we've talked about like i'm a new creature in christ jesus the old is passed away behold the new has come mm. and when you say i am the righteousness of god see what this is doing is creating an image on the inside of you of who you are in christ mm. instead of seeing yourself in the old um nature you're seeing yourself in the new image you're creating that image on the inside of you that's good and it creates boldness you yes. have to create the image on the inside of you mm. because all this time an image has been created on the inside of you mm. either in image of loneliness or an image of fear an image of unworthiness 
all this time mm -hmm. an image like that has been created. That's yeah. why it, it's going, maybe going to take some time, but if you keep persevering and seeing who you are in Christ, That's seeing right. yourself that you're forgiven, mm -hmm. seeing that you are loved, yeah. and seeing yourself worth in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. So we want to make a few declarations before we yeah. close the program today. These are these are actually bold statements and it can be a starting point for you to start saying them to develop this image of who you are in Christ. Yeah. And you can so, yeah. say these over and over again yeah. and just believe them. As you speak them, believe them. Amen. See, there's power in speaking the Word of God. So these are based on the scriptures that we have read. Mm. So let's say together, I'm a new creature. I'm a new creature. In Christ. In Christ. I am the righteousness of God. I'm the righteousness of God. In Christ. In Christ. I am alive to God. I'm alive to God. I have. I have. Eternal life. Eternal life. I am made near to God. I am made near to God. By His blood. By His blood. I am raised up. I am raised up. To sit with Jesus. To sit with Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Amen. So yeah. believe that these words can change your life and see yourself in Christ from this day forward. Amen.